guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Anthony Tejada, and welcome to Newport and Riverton by MI Homes. Stay tuned, I got a great home and community for you. Give me that intro. Seventeen ninety-two near the I four and the four seventeen in Volusia County, within two miles of the DeBerry Sun Rail Station, which goes to Winter Park and downtown Orlando, is Rivington, a master plan community with a resort-style pool, indoor and outdoor clubhouse with a gathering room, playground, and miles of nature walks. Rivington community offers six distinct floor plans ranging from sizes of 1857 to 3,611 square feet. These one and two story plans featuring three to six bedrooms, two and three car tandem garages, cover lanai's, flexible spaces like office, man cave, exercise rooms, and more. The model home is the Newport starting base at 490 with a five bedroom, five bath, 3,611 square feet with two master bedroom suites, one on the first floor, the second on the second floor. Three car tandem garage and it's two stories. This community offers a CDD and HOA at $205 per month, consisting of three home builders totaling 697 homes at the time of completion. Easy access to downtown Orlando for museum, restaurant, and cultural events. Under one hour away from amusement parks. 10 minute drive from Central Florida Zoo and the Botanical Gardens with giraffe feeding exhibits, barnyard animals, feeding zoo, adventure course, bungee jumping, and a tropical splash ground. Shopping is 12 minutes to Town Center Plaza or Seminole Town Center, and seven minutes from St. John's Eco Tours. Nearby parks include Blue Springs, Gemini Springs, and Wachevia Springs. Golf, if you love golf, is nearby at DeBerry Golf and Country Club, and River City Nature Park District Golf Course. So lots to do when you live here in Remington. But guys, before we start seeing this home, if you can hit, punch, crunch, or smack the like, subscribe buttons down below, it truly does help my channel. And stay tuned for this beautiful home. Hey guys, this is the new port right here. Here you go. And we're gonna enter. Uh, this will be the garage when you buy the home. So right here is the garage setup. Here's your outdoor porch and your covered area there. Love the pillars with the stone. Love that set setup. And as we enter here, as you can see, we have a porch area, nice space to sit down. And the front of the home is here. Beautiful door with glass inlets, uh, with frosted glass here and here for natural lighting to enter that hallway when you enter the foyer. As we enter the home, as you can see, this is the model home, as always, it's a fully upgraded home, but I love how they decked out this little archway here, this wall here, and this foyer. Check this out, guys. You go up, it has an overlook in the foyer on the second floor. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna go back down. To the right, we have our formal dining room here with two windows for natural lighting here. Love how they set that up. As we turn back into the main hallway, we have this home and it opens all the way up. And we have our kitchen to the right, our breakfast nook, gathering room, outdoor lanai, and more here. But let's start with the left first. Here on the left, we have our mud room slash drop and stop here. So we have all this here, cabinetry here for storage. This right here is the model center right now, but that'll be your three car tandem garage. And we have a storage closet. The builder is using it for some material right now, but this is a storage closet. So as soon as you come in, you can hang in your coats, your sneakers can go in there and book bags and all that stuff. And let's look at our kitchen. Hey guys, so let's talk about the kitchen, as I said. 
right here, right in the center of the kitchen, we have this beautiful island with the courts and the waterfall that comes down on the courts right here. Very nice. We have our double stack here. So our convection oven and our regular oven here. Beautiful white cabinets. You have this, the upgraded cabinets with the see-through uh, glass, uh, um, glass panels. That's awesome. The quartz continues on right here with our electric range. I love the beautiful white cabinetry down below on both sides. This beautiful backsplash with the gold accents. We have our uh, steel uh, vent fan range here. Very nice. And then if we turn back around, we have the farm sink, very large, very big sink. Look how big the sink is. Now my wife would hate this, but this is a sink that I can fill up with dishes right away. And you got your stainless steel appliances. You got your fridge here. You have your coffee station here with more of that beautiful quartz. As we enter this way here, we have our butler's pantry right here. So if you're having a catered event, you can spread out the food here and have that catered here. We have where you put your china here in this beautiful cabinetry. And then on this side, we have a large pantry here for the rest of the kitchen to service the kitchen and the formal dining. And that is our kitchen, guys. And let's continue on with the home. That was our kitchen space there, guys. Now, I just wanna show you this little space right here. Let's talk about that. Real on the opposite side of the kitchen, we have what we call the dog house or AKA where I spend my nights when I'm in trouble right you can go in it goes right under the stairs awesome for your furry pet friends for you if you're in trouble like i said it's a nice place to stay also the only thing it needs is a tv and some cable now that we're done with our harry potter room i want to go this way here and talk about our formal here's our formal dining room right here and we have windows here for natural lighting and then you got the pocket doors if you turn to the left, we have our gathering room here and we have three more windows for natural lighting. So this room, this home is very airy and has lots of natural light. So it's very good, especially on your energy bill. So you have to turn on the, the lights in the daytime. Here is our gathering room here. And then we have our stairways up and I'll get to that in a minute. We're going to Head through this way, beautiful pool out there, by the way. And what we have here is, I like to call this the guest suite section of the home, but this is actually the first master, right? So we have a pool door here with glass inset, very nice. But then we have a full service bath here. So we have the counter here, the, the vanity, the cabinetry, granite, mirror, pendant lighting. We have glass shower doors here with tile all the way up. Very nice. And a window right here for natural lighting. Coming away from the pool door, we enter our first master. So it's a gorgeous master. Look at this. Very nice. Two windows for natural light. I love how the decorators decorated the ceiling here with the chandelier and those wood beams. Beautiful. And enough space for a dresser and a chair to fit with the bedroom set. Take a look here. And then double doors that lead into this gorgeous master bath suite. Love the LED lighting on the bottom of the cabinetry. Dual vanity sinks here, mirror, pendant lightings. Yeah, beautiful garden tub, very nice. And shower stall, so that's a rarity nowadays to have the garden tub and the shower option for the master, that's very nice. Lots of room in this bath suite. We have our water room here, and then our master sweet closet here, walk-in. So that's a very nice walk-in closet. And I'm gonna back out of this room. So we have another good view. 
and then let us go back out here. Let's see if we can access the pool area from here. And we can. Gorgeous concept of a pool. The pool does not come with the home. This is just an idea to let you know what you can do with your space in the backyard. As you can tell, the pool is very offset from the home. So you have enough room for a pool this size to fit. Love that they did with the black fencing all the way around. Conservation views in this community are here. Very nice. Love the shelf. And then the steps over here. We have enough room for a sit area here. Very nice. And then as we come through, we have our dining room space here under the outdoor cover lanai area. Very nice. All right. Now let's head to those stairs so we can go upstairs. So we're here back at our stairs and we're gonna head upstairs now to show you the rest of this gorgeous home. Here we are. And I just wanted to start from showing you the stairway area. Look how beautiful they designed this. Love the two big posters here, or paintings. Love that accent wall that they did there. How it runs along with the stair, the wooden stairwell. Very beautiful. But as soon as you get to the top of the stairs, we have our second master here, and we'll get to that. A bedroom here, a bathroom, another bedroom, that beautiful two-story foyer view right there. And I think we're gonna start from this side of the home. Let's start at the back of the home first. Here we go, we have a loft here, we're gonna to get to that. And we're gonna start with the farthest bedroom in. And it is a ensuite. So as you can see here, look, an ensuite has plenty of room. You have a half step in here, very nice. A window for natural lighting here. Love what they did with the chandelier and the accent wall or ceiling. As we step in this way, we come to our ensuite bath. We have a linen closet here, I'll show you that in a minute. But we have our vanity here. Mirror, pendant lighting. We have our tub, which has tile all the way up. And here's our tub set there. And when we spin around, we have our vanity, I mean, I'm sorry, our linen closet here. Lots of space. And that is our ensuite. Then this ensuite room comes right out to our gorgeous loft space. Look what they did here. Huge space here for entertaining, game night, movie night. We have a kitchenette set, with, set up within the loft, which is beautiful. We have the wine fridge here, plenty of cabinetry here. I love the shelving idea for um, plates, utensils, books, decoration. TV set up with this gorgeous quartz that we had downstairs running along here. Lots of storage for games, movies, music, whatever you might need for a beautiful entertainment space like this. Four windows, one overlooking the uh, foyer here for plenty of natural light to come in. Very nice. There's a 24 hour use space it looks like. Love that. Then we have our foyer right here. It mirrors the downstairs foyer area. So this is where you hang over and go, hey, come on guys, come upstairs. Let's go hang out. Very nice. Turn all the way around. Love the farm door here that leads into the laundry room area. Gorgeous 
The decorators did a fantastic job in this home. Here you go with the modern dark cabinets, light quartz color tops. Look at this floor, beautiful tile, penny tile floor. You have your washer and dryer set up here and then your utility sink and more cabinetry right above it. They did a fantastic job in this home. Kudos to the designers. Let's go around the foyer here from our second story foyer. There's another bedroom. So as we step in, we have this lacrosse themed bedroom. Again, designers outdid themselves. Love this panel design that they did from floor, I mean from ceiling to wall. Very nice. Two windows for natural lighting. And what I'm gonna do is spin around. So you can see you have a closet here and enough space for dressers, bed, and everything else. Plenty of room, huge bedrooms in this home and closet space. Let's uh, take a closer look at that closet. Wow. Let me see if I find the light here. And I do. Huge walk-in closet for this bedroom and the theme runs right into the closet as well. Great, great use of space. All right, now let's keep walking through. Look at these panels and design that they did with the hallways. They did not miss a step in this house. Directly next to that bedroom, which is next to the foyer, is this huge pool bath. Dual vanities here that large mirror with lighting. You have the window there for natural lighting. And then you have a tub set up here with the tile, of course, all the way up, six, seven feet above the tub space. And of course, your linen closet right here. All right come back out to the loft area. Isn't it gorgeous? We're gonna turn right here, come back to the stairway area, and right before we hit our master is another bath ensuite type space. No, I think this one just has a closet. Here we go, and another theme. It's a camping theme in this room. Love it, love the wallpaper of the uh, forest sleeping bags on the top. Love that design. Great designers. We have a window, two windows here for natural lighting that lead out to the balcony area. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. And another walk-in closet, there we go. Love the rope, if you can't tell, this is like camping rope all the way through. Very nice. And let's take a look at that huge closet. Another humongous closet for this home. This is great. It's a beautiful home, guys. And here we go. That is another angle for this bedroom. And finally, guys, we come to the best room of the home. The second master bedroom suite. Look how much space. Look at these are the double doors here. I'm just gonna pan around. Look at all this space. It's a huge master. Love the box ceiling. The texture design is just amazing. Three windows. Look how much space is in the seating area here. Awesome. You have your master bath suite here and then your balcony right here. Let's go check out that balcony since we're here. And imagine waking up in the morning, having a little bit of coffee, reading a newspaper, 
Netflix, all in the confines of your home while overlooking your gorgeous pool and conservation area. Uh, it can't get better than this. This is Florida living. Very nice guys, very beautiful. As we head back inside, another angle of this bedroom from here, so you can get a sense of the feel of space this room provides. And then let's head in into our master bath suite here. Again, with the LED lighting, I love that accents the room perfectly. You have a spot that has a laundry basket right now, but that's a sit down. So I know that's important for some people. His and hers mirrors, love the round mirrors. Love the uh, backsplash behind each mirror and two windows for natural lighting, of course. Let's uh, run across this quartz top here. Have a good view of the faucets and such. And then take a look at this shower stall. Ooh. Four sprayers coming off the wall, the hardware in the middle, and then your shower head right here. Beautiful, again, penny tiles as the backsplash for this shower stall from ceiling to shower pan. And then more tiling, box tile here. Very nice design. We have our water room here and then our master closet very huge space here now don't worry this is just the builder telling you how they insulate their walls here but here is the size of this closet it's pretty amazing to be honest very beautiful all right let's take a look coming outwards of this shower, I mean, master bath suite again. And that is the home. All right, guys. Guys, do you love this home? Is this the community for you and your family? Well, then give me a call, 407-790-0929. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Give me that outro.